Hello students, I'm Imani Sharma, your educator. I warmly welcome you all on the YouTube platform where we, in today's video, uh, which is based on higher education, we are going to talk about the government schemes which are related to higher education. And this particular uh, government schemes would be in two parts simultaneously. After this one, you will have part two for the same schemes, etc. Different schemes, I'd rather say, right? So we will gradually be covering the very, very important schemes which are asked from the next perspective in the net examination so which is the first scheme that we are going to cover the first scheme that we are going to talk about is Nishtha. Now, before jumping directly into the schemes, I would want to make you guys understand this particular thing that we all need to be really very careful about the full forms of these particular schemes because at times match the following may again okay the two are these questions which are related to the full forms if not what's the aim what's the objective of the particular scheme right so this particular scheme which is known as nishtha it stands for national initiative for school head and teachers holistic advancement now one thing again bringing back to your notice is that whenever you will be reading the schemes the names etc that come up with them you will be able to if you got a knack of understanding and revising the schemes time and again you will be able to recall them while sitting in the examination so the full forms of the schemes are directly telling us what is the objective of whatever scheme that we are reading about. So, Nishta here talks about national initiative for school heads and teachers holistic development right and advancement. So, basically here teachers and the school heads how they all need to be holistically developed in all round figures etc. They need to be the ones who are fostering critical thinking in the students. They need to be the ones who are handling diverse situations and counsel the students as in how to go about with things. If any conflicts are arising, they need to be aware of how to handle those particular situations, right? It's a part of Samagra Shiksha, which is also a scheme based on education. And the goal of Nishtha is to educate, train 42 lakh teachers with the holistic development, that they do know how to operate the technical things in their classroom. They do know how to foster the critical thinking that we are trying to talk about, right? And who would be the beneficiaries of this, uh, you know, scheme? All the government school teachers, SCERT, right that is the state council for educational research and training faculty and the diet staff diet diet stands for district institute of education and training correct so we need to be the ones who are educating who are developing these teachers and school heads holistically under this particular scheme Moving forward, the second scheme that we have in today's video is Rashtriya Avishkar Abhya. The name again is trying to tell us that it's about innovation. It's about Avishkar. If we try to translate the same thing into English, Avishkar ko hum innovation mein hi, we'll be trying to translate it, right? So it's supported by IITs, IIMs and IISERs and the beneficiaries of this particular scheme are the students who are aged between 6 to 18 years, right? Who fall under the classes of 1 to 12 in government schools, Kendriya Vidyalaya and special schools, Navodhya Vidyalayas, etc. Correct? The goal is to promote non-classroom science, math and tech learning because most of the time the avishkar and innovation has been seen in the research field that comes from maths and science ke areas majorly, right? So, how to, you know, make the students come out of the classroom teaching and teaching them in a non-classroom setting so that at times, in, uh, you know, interaction could be interesting and all. Encouragement, schools as innovation hubs so that they can foster the innovative things in the, uh, you know, pupils' mind. Innovative programs and student exchanges as well. The next scheme we have is NEET, time and again asked in the NET examination. Full form again is important, National Education Alliance for Technology. Now it's again about technology, what are we going to find under it? First of all, implementer is AICTE. 
All India Council for Technical Education, which is the head of the technical institutes in India, right? Under Ministry of Education, correct? So, Ministry of Education is the overall umbrella term under which different, different technical institutions fall. And AICT, that is All India Council for, you know, teacher, uh, technical training, sorry, that falls under that. Objective is AI driven personal, personalized learning in higher education so that if Let's just say if a student is a slow learner, personalized, customized learning hogi, then the lectures will be according to the pace of the learner, right? This is the major um, thinking and objective on under this particular scheme. Accessibility, who will be able to access this particular scheme? Solutions will be provided for free to the economically backward classes, the students who have enrolled in the technical programs, etc. Right? Company contribution, it will offer 25% free coupons for registration via the NEED portal. This is a discount that you all will be getting if you enroll under this scheme for higher education that is known as NEED. Now, again, a very hot topic, a very hot scheme for the NET examination is Swayam Prabha. First of all, I need to bring this thing into your attention that first of all, Swayam Prabha was a group of 32 channels, then it moved to 34, now it's a group of 40 channels, right? So you see how the um, you know field of education is spreading in a vaster manner, increasing the number of educational channels which are available to the students, the teachers, etc. worldwide, right? So there are 40 DTH channels for the educational programs and this is a PYQ again, 24-7 via GSAT-15 satellite. This is the name of the satellite which holds the you know, entire program, the different educational programs which are there. Content is provided in new 4-hour programs daily window and the same content is repeated 5 times in a day. So, if you are from ninth class, let's just say, the ninth class ka content, if one chapter is being taught to you, the same chapter, the same program would be repeated five times a day. Correct? Uplinked from Paisag, Gandhinagar and the content providers are from the school levels, NPTEL, IITs, UGC, CEC, IGNU, NCRT, NIOS. This is important. So, from school education to higher level education institutions like UGC, we have IGNU for distance learning courses, etc. Right? The web portal is maintained by the Inflipnet uh, you know, center. These details are really important and of course this one because this is a recent update that is there. Then we have the next uh, scheme which is here, which is known as EQUIP. This is also again asked in the net examination time and again hence brought forth here. The full form has been asked, full form of this particular uh, scheme is education quality upgradation and inclusion program. The duration for the same has been 2019 to 2024. That is for five years, we are going to observe this particular scheme and see what are the differences that do occur, right? The goals are double the gross enrollment ratio that the students in a male and female ratio who schools may, higher educational institutions may, how many of do, uh, you know, them, do get enrolled in the particular fees. Address geographical and social access disparities. Agar kisi ko koi social reason ki wajay se, if for any other particular reason such as because they stay in remote areas, villages mein reh rahe hain, jahan pe there is no access to electricity as well. So we are going to address and you know address that particular challenge as well under the equipped scheme. Elevate education quality to global standards so we as the part of Indian education system can also uphold to the global standards related to any program which is taught in another country as well. Aim for 50 Indian institutions among the top 1000 global universities. This could be asked as a statement based question. Correct? Next is E Shodh Sindhu which is ESS. The initiative is merging of UGC Infonet portal, right, Enlist and Indest AICTE consortia. So this is the merge, emergence of merging three different, you know, we can say consortium together, right. The objective of Eshot Sindhu, the name itself is trying to tell us it has the word E. 
it means electronic so here whatever sources etc whatever journal resources for research etc will be available such as factual databases wo sab available honge hame under this particular portal then we have virtual labs now you guys would have heard of labs etc laboratories jo most of the times are physical boundary mein associated we have laboratories in our schools colleges etc under different different programs but what is this virtual labs thing it's an initiative which is taken by the ministry of education government of india under national mission on education through ICT, so ICT का use करके education को incorporate and spread कैसे करना है that's NME ICT consortium. It involves twelve institutions coordinated by IIT Delhi, and of course the name itself is suggesting that now you are going to perform the experiments virtually, remotely. Correct? ICT based education paradigm shift, remote experimentation is the major focus of this particular scheme because there might be some times when you will not be able to go to your school college etc but you do want to perform the experiment this particular scheme is for you then virtual labs content 100 plus web enabled experiments for remote operation and viewing as well if you want to replicate because in research as well we replicate the you know we can replicate different different experiments different research as well so we can view those particular programs experimentation here as well on the portal right with this i will end this particular video i will for sure meet you with the part two of the same video where we are going to talk about the government schemes related to higher education till then you guys keep on studying thank you so much and have a good day Bye bye